Hi, this is Mr. Bus, and I'm going to show you how to run the yeast experiment. Here's the equipment you're going to need. A test tube holder with four test tubes. Uh, these happen to be 16 by 150 millimeter test tubes. A graduated cylinder. This is a 50 milliliter. Oh, no, it's a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. Uh, the yeast, I won't need that right away, so I'm going to set that off to the side for now. This is a molasses solution. We'll need that in the beginning, so I'll keep that in front. Some water in a larger 250 mil beaker for dilutions. And another smaller beaker that's empty. This is a 100 mil beaker, same as that, uh, that I'll be using. So we're going to want to start by taking 15 milliliters of the solution that the teacher provides. So 15 milliliters. Measure that in your graduated cylinder. Take your reading, add that to a test tube. That's the easiest one to do. Next, what we're going to want to do is make some dilutions. So we want to do a 50% 50 50 dilution, 5-0. So we're going to take, here's the way I'm going to do this. There's other ways to do this, but this is what I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to take some of this molasses and I'm going to add equal parts of molasses and water. So I, I happened to take, it works well if you take 20 milliliters. I'm not going to need this anymore, I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to take my empty beaker and I'm going to add the 20 milliliters of molasses. But now I want to dilute it 50%, so I'm going to add an equal amount of water. So take some of the water that I have, take 20 milliliters of water. Mix that up. So that is half the concentration. So I can't add it directly to the test tube. I need to measure it out. And the same amount goes into each test tube. 15 milliliters goes into every test tube. So it's just a different concentration in each test tube. So 15 milliliters of my first dilution there. And you can see that it's a little lighter color. I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to take my dilution and I'm going to do another 20 milliliters into the graduated cylinder. I'm going to rinse this out and use it. Okay, so I rinse that out. So we're going to take 20 milliliters of the molasses, 20 milliliters of water, mix it up, and again I need to measure that into the test tube. So 15 milliliters of that goes into the test tube. So there's the third test tube. So if this was 16%, this is 8%, this is 4%, I want this to be 2%. Again, I'm just doing the same process where I take equal parts. I'll do 20 milliliters of this. I'm going to rinse this out again. and add that to an equal amount of water, 20 mils of water. And I can't add it directly to that. I need to know how much I'm adding because I want them all to be the same. So 15 milliliters of that. And I've made my dilutions. I'm done with the graduated cylinder and beakers now, so if I wanted to, I could clean that up. Just move them off to the side of the video. So here I have my first concentrated solution, 16%. Here's 8%, 4%, and 2%. So now I need to add the yeast. I'm going to swirl the yeast because it tends to settle on the bottom. So if I look on the bottom and I see any yeast settled, I need to keep swirling. I'm going to take my pipette and I'm going to 
add yeast a few times and add 10 drops. Put the rest back in the container. The Erlenmeyer flask, swirl again. Pull up more yeast, 10 drops to the next one. Put the rest back in the container. Swirl it again. Pull up some more, 10 drops. Put the rest in. Swirl it the last time, pull up the yeast, add 10 drops. Perfect, okay. Done with the yeast. Now we need to mix each of these. I'm just gonna mix it by capping the top with my thumb and inverting it a couple times. And in between each one, I'm just gonna dab my thumb on the towel. Okay, so now the experiment is almost set. I need one more thing that I forgot to grab. I need four miniature test tubes. So I'll take the miniature test tube, put it in upside down. It's gonna float because it's full of air. It's gonna capture the carbon dioxide that the yeast are releasing, but in order to do that, it needs to start with the liquid in it. So I'm gonna go upside down with it. I'm just going to double check, looking that there aren't any air bubbles in there. There don't appear to be. Do the next one, put it in upside down. Get the air bubbles out. Double check that there aren't any air bubbles in there. Do that for all four of them. Looks good. Last one. So the experiment is set. I have different concentrations of molasses, but equal volume. I have the same amount of yeast in each of these. It's gonna be at the same temperature and everything else. So my independent variable, the amount of molasses. Make sure you have labeled, maybe take a piece of tape marker and put a label on the test tube rack so that you know it's yours. Set it aside somewhere in the room and overnight the yeast are going to be active because they're going to be consuming the molasses potentially at different rates because there's different amounts of molasses in each of the test tubes and you'll come back tomorrow and see how much gas might have been collected in the upside down test tubes. Clear off your uh, table, rinse off your beakers in the sink multiple times with water and return them clean and then you might need to wipe off and spray your table as well.